Hi guys, it's the Macintosh Guide and I'm back again with a brand new video. Now this week we're going to be upgrading the ROG Ally that we picked up and we're going to be upgrading it with one of these bad boys. A one terabyte WD underscore black SN77M NVMe SSD. Now this is the M.2 2230 um, and it's very simple to do. Now the current drive installed on here is a 512 gig one but we want to upgrade this to one terabyte and then i'll show you guys how to get the os installed on your rog so sit back relax and enjoy this one so what we're going to do is we're going to go and get rid of all of these screws that we see now bear in mind the one in the middle does not remove it will stay in but you can pull the the cover off um, after removing all of the other five screws this one, again, as I mentioned, will stay on the plate just hanging. Now it's a simple matter of trying to move the back case. Now what my suggestion is, is always start off near where the the triggers are so you should be able to just start putting your finger through the gap and simple as very very easy very very quick so as you can tell this is the back of the ROG Ally and what we're focused on is in this apartment here you can actually peel this to the side if you wanted to um, and this is what we're going to be focusing on so let me just get the SSD so it's quick and easy. We've got our SSD right here. I don't know if the camera's going to focus. All we need to do is lift up this. Now you can disconnect the battery if you want to. It's totally up to you. However, I like to, because it's just a straightforward SSD swap, I don't believe I will need to take the battery out for it. But safety always, you can always disconnect the battery. So as you can tell, I've peeled back the tape. All we now need to do is just unscrew the SSD, which is simple as one, two, three. As you can tell, the SSD should lift up. We just need to take the screw out as we have done here. As you can tell, we've now removed the SSD and it's a simple matter of us just replacing it with our new one. So all we need to do is get it configured, get it placed right as we have like here and just slide it right into the machine just like we've done here and then it's a simple matter of putting the screw back on and reversing the process so let's just get that done now So what you now need to do is you'll need to have a bootable USB drive for Windows 11 as I've done and I've plugged in my USB-C adapter onto my machine if you guys probably can't tell and then all you simply need to do is turn on your ROG Ally and then just tap on the country and then you'll get to the install now page then it's going to say setup is starting so you just need to wait a couple of seconds for this to happen now you can do ROG cloud recovery however in my instance it didn't work it wouldn't give me the option so i ended up just getting a bootable windows 11 dr uh, drive you just use the media installation assistant and that will help you um, installing it so there you go you can see it right here you tap accept click on next click on custom because that's what we want to do and then we see it right here our one terabyte drive click on next 
and there you go it's going to start installing windows 11 so let's just let it do its thing and then next i'll show you once it's gone through the setup phase we're going to have to skip the wi-fi option because there'll be no drivers installed on here you can get all the drivers and i'll link the drivers uh, below you can get all the rog drivers from asus's website once you've got those just stick them on the same usb stick that you've got windows 11 in uh, bootable usb drive in and you'll be good to go so let's i'll come back to you guys once this process has finished so as you can see we have now booted in to windows 11 straight away so now there's going to be a few things we'll need to do differently as you can probably tell none of the controls are working it's all going to be touch screen based for the time being now we're going to get to a certain page where it's going to ask us for wi-fi and as you can tell it's saying well oh, there's nothing here mate what what do you want us to do there's two ways around it you can plug an ethernet cable in which you can or there's a bios method that you can also utilize as well now in our instance i've got an ethernet cable available that i'm going to plug in that should take a second there you go press next And I'll link you a few videos that allow you to bypass Windows 11. All you need to do is search for Windows 11 Wi-Fi bypass, and that will allow you to basically, if you've got an external keyboard, just hook it up via USB-C connection, and you'll be great to go. So it's just doing a couple of things. So will restart up before you continue. So let's just let it do that. And again, guys, sometimes recovery won't always work. As, as I said for myself, recovery just didn't work and I had to then get a Windows 11 bootable USB. And it, you know, it, it happens, it's not always the, the easiest task. I would have thought it was just my ROG cloud recovery would have just worked, but I guess it didn't. And obviously now I'm here making this video. So and I apologize for it being blurry. It keeps identifying my face, unfortunately. Now it's come up with name your device. So let me do that now. So. T-M-G, and then it'll probably ask me to add my Microsoft account shortly, so I'll do that off camera in a few seconds. But this is the standard Windows 11 setup screen, guys, so I'll see you guys when we get to the home screen. And there we go, guys. We've now installed Windows 11. Now, all you'll need to do, which I don't need to show you guys, is just need to go to ROG Allies Driver Store get the drivers, shove them in the USB stick that you use, which has your Windows 11 installation, and then just install those drivers manually and you'll get all your functionality, like your fingerprint and everything, back for your ROG Ally. Now guys, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.